Hi all, I hope you're all keeping well. You may recall the video I put up a few weeks ago about video ideas and a few of you mentioned about um, instructional sort of videos. So I thought I'd do one of those today, um, starting with the, the song that started it for me, which was of course Apache by The Shadows. I'll go through and uh, hopefully this will all be okay, the first of many if you like, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So before we start, um, the way I'm going to refer to the strings is by their root um, note names of E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, the way to remember that is elephants and donkeys grow big ears. The first part of the intro to uh, Apache starts on the second fret and it's the G string. So we play that once and then we play the first fret on the B string and then we go to the third fret of the B string. But when you play that song, you're actually gonna bend it up um, half, a, half a tone on that one. So it should sound something like this. And then you're gonna release it after. Okay, um, second part of that is then, so it's the second fret of the G string again. And then the first fret of the B string. But instead of that one, you're then gonna to go to the uh, E string on the third fret, and you're gonna slide down to the fifth fret. Back to the third fret on the E string, followed by the fifth fret of the B string. So that should sound something like this. So you do that twice, and then we go into the next part of it, which starts on the second fret of the D string. And then you play the second fret of the G string. Play that twice. And then that's the fourth fret of the D string. The second fret of the D string. Play the D string open. So that should sound something like this. So you play that sequence twice. And then we're gonna go into the next part, which moves across to the G string on the second fret, followed by the third fret of the B string. And then open on the B string. Go back to the G string on the second fret and then open on the G string and then back on the second fret of the G string. So that whole sequence should sound something like this. galloping section which is the um, on the A string and the D string on the third fret and then what the, this is quite a unique pattern but uh, I've got no echo on of this so it should sound just as as you should be getting in at home so you play the A string and then on the D string it's string pattern it's a it's three notes and then two notes before going back to the A string again so it sounds something like this and then you play the third fret of the D string and then up to the second fret of the D string and then open on the A string and you play that twice 
space on that part. And so we go into the uh, middle section then. So it starts on the D string on the third fret. So then we're gonna effectively go up from the third fret of the D string to the second fret of the G string, to the first fret of the B string. I'm gonna play the B string open. And then back to the first fret. And then the third fret on the B string. Play the E string open. Third fret of the B string. And then the first fret of the B string. And then the second fret of the G string. So it should sound something like this. part so it's the same part again for the first bit so it's the D string on the third fret second fret of the G string first fret of the B string open on the B string first and third frets of the B string and then open on the G string and then we're going to slide from the third fret of the B string down to the fifth fret and then you're going to play the third fret of the E string. Play the fifth fret on the B string. Slide that down to the eighth fret. And then play the sixth fret of the E string. So that full sequence should sound something like this. the uh, gallop again and um, when you do the gallop try and mute put your palm very slightly across the two strings just in front of the bridge and you get that galloping sound which with the echo will sound just right but be careful not to over damp otherwise you'll hear a very clicky noise so you just need to very just use the very edge of your palm on the bridge And then the next part, so it's similar to the bit earlier on, but you're actually playing it slightly palm muted and you're playing some extra parts of it. So it's on the D string on second fret and the G string on the second fret. Down to the fourth fret on the D string. Back to the second fret. Uh, of the D string and open and back to the second fret again. So it should sound something like this. Okay. This uh, is an extra note, so I'll do that once more for you. So it's on the second fret of the D string. G string on the G string second fret and then like the uh, previous sequence it moves across to the G string and on the second fret and the B string on the third fret open on the B string B string and second fret of the G string. So that entire sequence should sound something like this. just before it goes into the section where you're playing an A minor chord. 
which for those of you who don't know is the second fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, and first fret on the B string, and you play it from the A string downwards. You get a nice bit of vibrato arm as well. Okay, and then we play the uh, back to the one of the previous sequences again, but it's slightly different this time. So it's the um, same parts as before for the first bit. So it's the third fret of the D string, second fret of the G string, and the first fret of the B string. So that part's all the same, but it's the next part that changes. So. play the G string open and then the first fret of the G string back to the open so it should sound something like this go to the first fret of the E string. Open on the A string. Third fret of the A string. Third fret of the D string. And then second fret of the D string. So that should sound something like this. again that's the second fret on the G string first fret on the B string third fret on the B string and you're gonna bend that up slightly and then release it again and you're gonna play that twice and then on the last bit there's quite a few different endings but the one I used to I always do is is the second fret of the G string, first fret of the B string. And then on that last, very last part, I go from the third fret down to slide down to the fifth fret on the E string. So it sounds something like this. string at the third fret on the E string slide down to the fifth fret back to the third fret on the E string fifth fret on the B string and the third fret on the B string first fret on the B string and there's the second fret on the G string and open on the G string And then I play the A minor chord just to finish. So I'll play that uh, just like last section one more time. you found that useful um, if you did please like comment and subscribe and uh, if there's interest I'll do some more videos um, like this with some instructional videos of some of the shadows songs um, until next time I'll uh, speak to you all soon take care